You want to come up and see me? Huh? You want to come up? Come on! Most beautiful little girl. Wow. And she got all decked out for this evening. Wow. So beautiful. What's the guy's name who does Trump on a Trump show? For an impressionist, right? He is like like Donald Trump. You know, I do my own sassy Trump, right? Which isn't an impression. You, do you know about these? All right, well, I, I do this thing where I dub over Trump's speeches and um, uh, uh, his interviews with, um, I give him this, like, basically the voice that matches what he, when he's insulted and he insulted me, so I, you know. You would think Trump would be a very easy person to impersonate because he's got so many, you know, he's so extreme and he's got so many different things that he does with his voice, so many hooks, and, but like, he's really difficult. And that guy is the only one who's really, he's really got him. I mean, would a crazy person go to a Boy Scout jamboree and make a joke about orgies? There was a great guy called Phil Cool that you won't know, uh, who had a sort of a career. He was someone who shunned the limelight. He was kind of had a TV show on the BBC when I was growing up. He was a big influence on me. A guy called Rory Bremner, there's uh, another British guy. Because Obama, he, he sounds, speaks very slowly and with great authority and occasionally sounds like Kermit the Frog. It was like Frank Gorshin. I remember my uncle when I was a kid, you know, telling me like the guy who plays the Riddler in Batman is also like an amazing impressionist. And even though he was impersonating people that I didn't know, you know, oh, that's Richard Nixon. Oh, Howard Cosell. Who's Howard Cosell? Little seven-year-old from Liverpool, you know. I don't know who he is. That him again? Hey, gosh, Batman, I wonder what he's up to this time. No need to wonder, boy. Wonder, so no wonder, wonder, boy. 